Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to integrate this largest ESP32 board to Home Assistant by ESP Home. You can see uh, this is KC868A256. This board is very large. And there are many different digital input and digital output. I will try to challenge the limits of the Home Assistant. Okay, this video I will show you the first step. We will look at the hardware details. And the second, I will show you how to integrate and set by the ESP Home. And now let's look at this is the board. Because this board, I have removed this socket. Because I have already connected the wine. I just plug in the socket will be easily. And this is the PCB board we have designed. You can see that have two different sides. There are so many different components and chips and the resistance and many different chips on this board. Uh, two, ch two layer all have these par parts. So this is very big. And uh, this board also you can see that is the thin rail that have a plastic button you can see here we can install this thin rail just like just like this so that you can fix it on your power distribution box let's look at uh, this is the web page about the a226 you can see here that is our, our web page there are many different gpios so that you can see this will be you can see the clearly. So you can see here, we can let it large. That is digital output. Uh, this is all the output, 256 channel. And this input, input, this is ground, ground. Every eight channel will have a ground. So this is V in for every eight channel so that you can let different output terminal output a different voltage so that you can use the 12 volt or 24 volt and this is for the power supply so that uh, the board will be very powerful and so many different input and output and also there are some different terminals you can see analog input and four channel and IS485 interface for communication and this is power supply Okay, this is the hardware terminal details. And we can also see this PCB board we have designed. You can see here, that is the PCB. Also is very large. And we can see in 3D version. So you can see there are many chips. Uh, just to extend the GPL for the ESP32. And you can see the diagram, a schematic, you can see the service and the document and you will see all our open source board. You can check this A256, uh, this is diagram. And many, many diagram that use this 74HC165 chip uh, for just uh, for the input. Uh, this is for input. So they are have connected with many chips to extend this input, just like this. And here you can see that is 74HC595, these chips that used for extend the output. So the output is the most fit output. And we can see uh, this is a diagram for ESP32. Okay. Now this time, we will look at this Home Assistant dashboard. You can see we will have 256 channel output. There are so many, many, many output and input parts. And we have already posted the ESP Home YAML file on our form. You can see here, you just you can download this file. We can click and so many config file command line let's look at the first thing we need to plug in the terminal uh, this is for output because there are many v in so we need to connect it together uh, maybe you have different voltage so you can connect with a different power supply and you can see here i have let 
so much terminal and uh, work connect together so you can see uh, this is the first row and this is the second this is the second row in this row I have used this small cable uh, just use this cable so this small cable that will be connected easily uh, just use this cable and every terminal you can see because this terminal is V in so I have the first terminal and connect the second terminal V in and the third V in so that will be many 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 connected together that I just for testing so you can see uh, this, this have totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so that will have 32 channel terminals so we can use the multimeter and just make sure that have connect so the first terminal and the last terminal make sure have connect together have a good contact and now let's plug in you can see this is the first one you can see I can just plug in and the second okay you can see now the first row that is connect all V is connected together and this is the second row okay this is the last one but the last one we need to connect with this power and from this 12 volt so you can see I have used this cable that is for DC 12 volt terminal Okay, now we can plug in the last one. You can see I can plug in. Now you can see the all V have connect together with the 12 volts. And now we can connect with this network cable. And let me power on that you can see. And you can see the LD is on and the network cable also is LD is blink. Okay, let's go to the home assistant. Uh, you can see this dashboard, uh, this all terminal, and you can see that will become available. So that you can see so many different. Let's test with the number one switch. You can see the LED indicates and the number two and the number three. Okay, let's test with the all on. You can see I can click this one. That many different switch is on so you can see also the home assistant dashboard you can see all is on if i turn off you can see i i turn off and you can see the home assistant is update 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 very fast so you can see this i can change every different switch for on and off and how to set by this one we can go to this ESP home and create an A60 and create A256 board you can see I have already in created this board you can see the edit and this code you just find from our website just this one and I have opened you just copy and paste you can see here just copy and paste you can see so much command at the last command you can see almost 4000 command for this part input and output 
And after you saved, you just click install and download by this USB cable. I have already downloaded, so I just test the result for you. Click the overview and the dashboard, and let's let's test the input. So you can see there are so many input digital part uh, for you can use. So you can see when I shot the input one because that need to shot for the digital input with ground. So you can see the diagram, uh, this ground, this ground, this ground, this ground, ground. So you can see I can shot for the in digital input one and uh, this part is ground. And this is the digital input one. So you can see in my home assistant dashboard, you can see that is on. So this is the first one. I have triangle. I release my Y that will be off. And this is channel two. You can see I shot. I shot for channel two. That is on. And release is off. Okay, let's test the 256, the last channel. So we can see this bird. Uh, this is the last one. You can see uh, this is also the ground. And this is 256 channel. You can see I shot for this. It will be on. And another channel. And you can see uh, that will be on. So all this channel can be detected in Home Assistant. Okay, this is a bird of is 256 for home assistant thanks for watching